Have you ever played Black Ops Zombies and wondered, what if they had a tiny budget and one dev? Well, wonder no more, because Land of Zombies is just that. I'd mention a spoiler warning here, but there's really no point since there's not much story. Before we get into it though, I would like to reiterate that this game was made by a solo dev, so I'm not going to be tearing it apart or bashing on any minor problems, although I may mention them. That being said, let's get into it. As expected, the levels aren't that unique, but they do look really good for the quality of game we have here. The first is a pretty small section of a big city with no mission or task other than to make it out of there alive, but it is lacking a little bit. Now I understand, it's supposed to be a tutorial, giving you a feel for the game and getting you acquainted with the virus that needs curing, but with only four sections I feel this was a lot of wasted space, especially since the tutorial doesn't give you any hints as to what you're supposed to be doing. Not much story here like I said earlier, but what story there is really doesn't make much sense. The first, and pretty much only cutscene has your character walking through the labs and then he sees a zombie. Now remember, we were just walking down the street shooting an AR with no silencer. He shoots the zombie, with his pistol, which causes all the zombies in the area to swarm the lab. Yeah, I don't think I have to make a joke about that, it's pretty much written itself. Moving on, level 2, 3, and 4 all take place in a lab, an enclosed lab, and now there's money to worry about, and doors, and wall guns, and a whole lot of zombies. This is where my first issue comes into play. Why didn't the first section have any of this? It would have added another 20 minutes to playtime, at least. Another issue I have is with that timer up there in the corner. It's supposed to say when the zombies are going to be coming. It doesn't mean a thing. You can be in an empty room and the timer have 30 seconds left, yet you'll all of a sudden be swamped by zombies. Which brings me to the third level. Darkness. Literally. Still in the labs, but pitch black, with a very, very dim flashlight. The only problem I had with this level was the lighting. Just make the flashlight a tad brighter or the darkness a tad less dark and it would be a great foundation for this game. I'll leave the last level for anyone that's interested in trying it out, but I can give you a hint. Look at level 2 and 3, and then add keys to the doors. The characters, just like the story itself, are mediocre. I can't hate on them too much though, because the dev and one other person are the voice actors, and they did a pretty good job for what it's worth. Although the names could use a change from what they are. Nothing against using your own name, Mr. Khan, but you could have at least tried to be a little creative there. I see. Those zombies are nothing but dead bodies, you know. They will not be able to do anything about it. The other character's name is just Player, which I understand why, but when you have a script that involves both characters, it becomes pointless. The zombies, on the other hand, are very well designed. From the grunts and growls all the way to how they walk and crawl, they look great. They also have a few different designs that vary between strengths since the latest patch dropped. If I had to describe the animation style, I'd almost say they look like they were pulled straight from the Walking Dead Telltale game, which caught me a little off guard with how the main characters look and animate. Speaking of animation, it is a little bit off, but that's understandable. Again, only one dev. Overall, as much as it pains me to say it, I don't recommend paying for this game. Nothing against the dev or anything like that, it's just not something that's going to hold its own ground in the open market. Land of Zombies is just that. A basic, go get the cure and save humanity zombie game. That's not to say it doesn't have my interest, because it does, but not enough for me to want to pay for it. The story is bare minimum, and the characters are as well, along with the objectives, but it will most likely be added to and refined. And if or when it does, I will do another review. Until then though, for more news, reviews, and whatever we choose, stay tuned to Nerdsfeed. Speed.